we're back with another bench test and today we're going to be looking at Mighty Switch Force. <laughs> Owls power ranks I beat. Okay, they're gone now. Oh. Okay. Well. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I decided Starting to up. actually show up all the part times, because why the heck not? GG. Except for the bonus ones. I let those out <laughs> because... Actually, I don't know why. <laughs> Get them wrong. Yeah. <laughs> this is basically the story. These five hooligan sisters escaped and causing chaos. And now we gotta stop them. Chaos control? Okay, no. <laughs> That's no. awful. That's another game. Never mind. <laughs> Are you sure? Oh, I love the music in this game. Oh yeah, this is a fantastic soundtrack. Jake Kaufman actually made me like dubstep. That's a damn achievement too. Jake Kaufman though. Yeah, he's a fantastic musician. Very underrated. Buy the soundtrack now! So, um, who actually got the, on this game before the sale ended? Oh, I had this game already, but on the Wii U. Like, um... Oh yeah. The, the Hyperdrive Edition? Uh, they had... Yes. I think it was on sale. There was like a promotion a little after the Wii U launched, uh, mm -hmm. or if not after that, then like maybe several months later. But um, I got it. And th that promotion was going on, and it's a it's a really good game. I liked it a lot. Yeah, I actually got it just to get Nintendo coins. I got the it. first and the second one. No. <laughs> Ow. I haven't even played it, but I will play it because they look very fun. Oh yeah, they're a lot of fun. James. <laughs> okay, you see, um... <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. I didn't get it. <laughs> oh. Hot tub. What up, girl? I mean, what? Who said that? Or completely ignoring Hazy's comment. Um, no. This is how the game is played. Essentially, you have to track down the five hooligan sisters. On the 3DS version, there's a radar you can use at the bottom of the screen. Kind of useless at this point because, for the most part, they're out in the open. I mean, there's maybe an instance or two where you kind of have to go out of your way to get to them, but getting to them is mainly the puzzle in itself because Patricia who is the protagonist of this game, she has something... Well, she has a pellet gun, which can shoot pellets. Who knew? And her helmet can switch things in and out of the dimension. See those blocks that are see-through? Mm -hmm. Just switched and now we can stand on them. If you are standing in front of something that is switchable and you switch it in, that will cause you to lose one heart. Doesn't necessarily kill you. I was wondering about that, like if you just switch it, well, it'd kill you like any some other games that are just like in the wall. Yeah, I mean, there are two things that can, two ways that you can, um, how do I put this? You can take damage from enemy attacks, but that won't send you to the checkpoint. But if you fall on spikes or switch in something that crushes you, that will send you to the checkpoint. If you have any hearts left. If you don't have any hearts left, you're kicked out of the level, but you can just try again. No lives. I just thought about this. Uh, speaking of Jake, doesn't he have a Kickstarter going up? I believe so, yes. Yeah. For um, some more music, because he's been... He's not only does stuff for Way 4, but he's also working with... Um, Yacht Club Games, which is essentially... Uh, off yeah, shoot. former, yeah. former Way 4 <laughs> employee, so it may as well be Way 4 in a sense. It's interesting seeing this version since I, since I have it for Wii U. It has like HD sprites. Seeing this, right. one. this one still looks good though. Mm -hmm. I actually have the HD version as well. Pretty good. Something we're not gonna see is uh, that this game originally came with only 16 incidents, and it wasn't until an update where it came with five bonus missions. Hmm. Yeah, the and then, update. yeah, and then with the um, also actually. Patricia got some extra dialogue in the update. Yay! But um, yeah, 
in the um, Hyper Drive Edition, which is what the game is called on the Wii U, they have all of that content, plus each level has basically a hyper version, which are stupidly hard, by the way. Yes. Yeah. I uh, know who's not playing those. <laughs> this guy. And something else interesting is, um, John, actually, have you heard the soundtrack of this yet? The full soundtrack? Yeah, I haven't. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, uh, Jake Kaufman actually made a remix for each track, oh, shit. and yeah, in each in each of the um, regular stages, they use the original music, but the remixes weren't featured in the 3DS version for the Ooh. ow for the Wii U version. Um, all the hyper levels featured the remix music, which I thought was a nice touch. What? Yeah. Damn. I'm gonna get on that shit. <laughs> Extra dubstep, <laughs> as I like to call it. Also a disclaimer, because I probably wrote this in my review, I don't remember at this point. Um, something else we're not, I'm not going to show off is you do get an upgrade to your gun once you complete the regular missions, which essentially destroys everything in one hit, including blocks, which would normally have to be destroyed by bombs. Um, yes. I thought that's what you needed to do in order to beat the power times, but now nah, you can get through with your regular pellet gun, which is what I'm showing off. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. He's just like flat. <laughs> yeah. This is just like chewing gum. She's like, eh, just gonna wait. Yeah. The sisters don't have names. I learned that today. What? Yeah, they're just the five hooligan sisters. Yep. Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. So wait, Jesus, you haven't tried the games, but you were aware of the um, opening. Because you mentioned how she says the title of the game. Right, well, when I bought them on my 3DS, I would just, you know, how it has a little square. Oh, so the start? Can, yeah. Yeah, the little oh, start yeah, stuff. Yeah. You can scroll over and you hold it, and, you know, like an old 3DS game, it has some kind of tidbit on it. Oh, okay. I actually did. I thought you bought the Wii U version, actually. Mm -hmm. Okay. But the 3DS version for both, and uh, I remember it said that. That's why I was like, oh. I should try these, and then I kept hearing it. I was like, okay. This looks adorable. The Wii U version, well, the sale is over now. Uh, the mm -hmm. way forward sale, but it was like 275 for the Hyperdrive Edition, which is really, really good. Because I think it regularly oh, yeah. goes for, what, 10? Or 15? Mm -hmm. 10 or Actually, 15, Actually, I think when right. it came out, yeah, I think when it came out it was 15, but I don't know if it's cheaper now. It's like 75% off or something, right? Yep. Yeah. An, oh, on, an odd to the fact that it's been 25 years for Wake Forward. Yeah. Oh. 75 and 25. Yeah. Okay. Da -da -da. Yeah. So, so it is ten dollars. <laughs> okay. I still haven't played the second one yet. I mean, I just got it. So, but, um, it's so good. Do you think it's better than this one? Yes. Or do you huh. think? Oh, oh. <laughs> just right away. Yep. It was my favorite 3DS game for the longest. Yummy! <laughs> I think the Switch is the right. Yep. Mm hmm. Because those blue chips that are actually floppy disk, because she is a cyborg or android. <laughs> floppy disk. So, yeah, those, those are floppy disks. <laughs> I'm trying to <laughs> think of how the Switch on this works. So if you switch on and you touch one and then you switch it, the other one will turn off? Yeah, there are different types of blocks. The blocks right here... I, uh, I'm not sure if they have a name actually, but I'm, I usually just call them lock blocks. Essentially, if you're standing on them, they actually won't s switch out. Okay, that's what I thought. That's what I was looking at now. I was like, okay, that's how those are working out. Yes, and if you want to lock both blocks, you have to center Patricia's sprite to where you're standing on both of them at once. Right. Which actually comes into play later on. Or neither of them. Right. Which will phase them both out. Or one out and one in. It just depends on which one's already switched out and which ones aren't. Shit. I already figured yeah. out how lost I'd be already. <laughs> Dude, you, you may want to explain floppy disks to uh, this generation of oh, right. <laughs> maybe Explain what floppy disks are. Oh yeah, they're basically 
like CDs, but they hold nowhere near as much data, and they're also square. <laughs> and no, you cannot put it in a CD player. Please don't try that. Yeah, how much do uh, floppy disks hold? Aren't they? Isn't it like a megabyte or two? It's really small. Like if four. that. <laughs> yeah. Dang. I mean, last time I used a floppy disk in high school, um, we we would use floppy disk to save stuff on because back then um, flash drives were out, but you know they weren't really affordable yet. You know, compared to now, where you can get like a sixty-four. Yeah, for like. <laughs> $10? $15? Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you search hard enough. Mm -hmm. So, floppy disks were just a couple of dollars, so we would use that to save um, papers. Right. Cool, last shit. Look at this crazy old one. <laughs> the last one I used broke. The plastic thing that you slid broke off, and that was it. Same here. I remember using them as ninja stars. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> I'm just like, <laughs> They're like, what was that? Uh, nothing. It's <laughs> <laughs> my book report. <laughs> this is your book report. <laughs> it's finished. Well, you're <laughs> <clears throat> Damn this music. Oh yeah, fantastic soundtrack that I still listen to. <clears throat> usually, like once a week, actually, both one and two. Just play it while I'm doing chores, going out, class, uh. at work. Oop. Now see, if I had the power to blaster, I could actually just shoot all the blocks, but not need the bombs. <laughs> well, for now that's good, at least. <laughs> Alright, yeah. <laughs> Oops. So Mighty Switch Force 2 is the last game, or the most recent game I should say, in the Mighty series. Actually, they released another game called Mighty Switch Force Hose It Down. Oh, the iOS one. Wait, yeah. What? Huh. Yeah, there's a iOS game called Mighty Switch Force Hose It Down. I honestly don't know much about it because I don't have an iOS device. Oh no. Yeah. And I've actually asked Way Forward if they were going to make an Android port. Still have no response back, but uh, I don't know. They seem to be. Way Forward has been trying to port a lot of their games recently, actually, especially this year. So who knows? We might see it on Android devices later. Before, for now, just iOS. Right. I think the only thing is they haven't released any games on Android. A lot of developers kind of skip Android because it's kind of easy to pirate them, so they don't you know, yeah. profit, which kind of sucks. But. Yeah, it's unfortunate. I mean, I'd be willing to buy... I mean, I, I don't know if I, that's the minority opinion, but I would definitely buy the the Hose It Down, or what was it, Mighty Switch Force Hose It Down? I would, I yes. would buy it on Android. Oh, shoot, yeah. I'd buy it in a heartbeat. Is it, like, Firefighters? Firefighters? Yeah, because a Hose It Down is based off of the second game in which Patricia is a firefighter. Hmm. Ooh. Yeah. She, she does it all. <laughs> oh, yeah. But more on to next week. Oh. He's a blood okay. that I killed. <laughs> <laughs> I love how those floppy discs are dropping. Oh, yeah. Sometimes enemies will drop floppy discs, but there's no point if they just fall on spikes. Hmm. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Keep yeah. <laughs> yeah, he can also be destroyed in one hit with the Mega Blaster. I think that's my favorite enemy because his face is just like, oop. <laughs> 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 what are you doing? <laughs> you just sound like you're on the other side of the room. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> 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 Let's see it again. Shh. Who's gonna yeah. get my iPad? Are you gonna look into it now? <laughs> I'm looking into it, but then I oh. realized it only has one percent. Bestio Donald. Yeah, I was gonna say the <laughs> sale ended. It was free. Fuck. It was free, right? Or no? Yeah, no. Yeah. It was free. 
Um, that and uh, the iOS version of Risky's Revenge, actually. Oh, maybe that was free. I don't know. It, maybe it was heavily discounted. I don't know, but that would have been cool. Yeah, I think... I can't remember. One of those was free and one of those was like a big discount. Yeah. Risky's Revenge was definitely free. Yeah, it was probably that. Uh, that posted down was free as well. What's the regular price for what that, actually? Fuck? I think it's five dollars, but I might be wrong. Yeah, I I prefer Android, and I have an Android tablet, so I, mm -hmm. I would definitely play this. Or it was a down on there, but yeah. I mean, the only reason I want an iPad is to play games that aren't on Android, but I'm not. They're like super overpriced, so yeah. And they're I'm nice devices, but so happy I won the iPad rather than have to buy it myself. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, you told me about that when you won it at work. Yeah. Oh, awesome. Because I don't think I would ever pay the amount of money for an iPad. No. <laughs> I'd probably end up buying a computer more. Than How much do iPads usually run for, actually? I want to say three, four. Oh! <laughs> Whoa. That was, that was <laughs> it kind of depends on which one you're trying oh! to get, but... um. <laughs> That hurt yeah. my heart. <laughs> just, oh. <laughs> yeah, they are pretty damn pricey. Oh, I'm so happy I won it, actually. Because all I have is games on it. You know, I watch <laughs> the occasional like YouTube and Netflix and Hulu and bed. But, god dang, these things are pricey. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. Oh, got it. Oh yeah, James Wolf just reminded me to explain something. Those enemies with the Bastiodon down looking faces, the pellets do shoot off, but the pellets still have an active hitbox while they're bouncing off. So usually with the red Bastiodon down looking enemies, they actually have landmines near them. That's how you're supposed to destroy them actually, by making the pellets bounce off of their mask and making the landmine blow up. Mm. Uh, like those. Yes. However, there were no Bastiodon, so they were just there to try to kill you. Yes. Yep. And here, I should have just shot the bomb that was in the front. But, <laughs> eh, that works too. She's like. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah. Eh. And sometimes it's better just to take a hit and keep going if you want to go for the part times. Right. If you don't have the, the mega shot. How do you switch between, uh, like on the controller? Just press the shoulder button. Well, oh, R trigger. Okay, that's, what I, that's what I thought. Like yeah. That way. Yeah, very simple control scheme. It does make sense to do it that way more than anything, because you can't be, like, jumping while trying to... Yeah, exactly. Yes, Oh, invincibility frames. Nice. Yep. Abuse the crap out of them. Oh, shit. Oh, okay. Yeah. That was scary. Awesome, but... mm -hmm. Oh, I gotta sneeze! Bless you. Because I'm like... Oh, it didn't even mess you up, dude. It just kept going going. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, that was a long sneeze. Maybe he does multiple sneezes. Are you breathing? Are you okay? Do we need that flatline sound effect from Sonic? But no, seriously, we need you to talk about this. <laughs> well, you shoot the bomb to blow up these breakable blocks. And you can summon that block on him to blow up the stuff under him. Shoot this one, and look, there's another uh, hooligan sister. I'm sorry, <laughs> I got a phone call while I was having a sneezing fit, so it was kind of awkward. Anyway, um, what did I miss, <laughs> actually? Oh, we're in another John incident. Ah, uh, yeah, face John. Yep, <laughs> Friends 5 life. Anyway. I should go without saying, since we've seen these before, but the green blocks you can actually shoot through. The only ones you can shoot through, actually, but you can't walk through them. Because that would be mm. easy. I know, James. I'm disappointed too. 
Checkpoint! That's right, Patricia. Ah, I found it. <laughs> nice! <laughs> Close it down. Are you gonna download it now, or...? Should. Yeah. Oh, look at this. Look at it! No, you didn't kill them. Oh god, oh I see. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh I see, it's a puzzle game. Okay, that makes sense. So you have to redirect the water to a way that it hits the fire and captures the, the ladies. Hmm. <laughs> like the ladies. Oh yeah. I mean, well. <laughs> I'm taking my skin. <laughs> 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 oh boy. Yeah, now. <laughs> no. No, we don't. I'm the funny one here. Yep. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Live from New York. I love James' reaction. He's like, I'm the funny one here. James' like, ah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, did you happen to see. The, did you say the price of uh, Hose It Down? Yeah, it's uh, $1.99. Oh, even oh. better than I thought. God. <laughs> what did you put it down already? Yeah. No, I mean, I, I mean, I should have paid attention to the sale more than anything. Oh, okay. That I should have gotten it at that time. But my iPod had been on such a low power this entire time. I was like, eh, I'll charge it later. <laughs> Can I just say though that Play Four sale was fantastic? But a part of me didn't care because I already owned all the games before the sale even happened. Hmm. I would have wanted Shantae, but I was like, I don't know if I want to play it on my phone. Or iOS, you know, it said the iOS, right? Yeah, the Steam version was on sale as well. It wasn't free, but it was also on sale. Yeah, oh, it was like 75% off. Damn. Yeah. So on what platforms is it on? Pretty much everything? Uh, Steam, DSi, and iOS, and it's coming out on Wii U later this year, actually. Because I want to get everything on one platform. 3DS then. Yeah, that's what yeah. I was thinking. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Look, they're hosing it down. <laughs> Get it? They are. Get it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh... Let's go. Oh, did you ever play? Uh, Duke, did you ever play? There's um, 3DS Virtual Console game. It was like Game Boy Color game. It was like a sports game by Way Forward. Sports. Oh yeah, extreme sports or something like that. Yeah. Have you played that one? Yep. Yeah. Is it good? Yes. Was I... I didn't keep my interest for too terribly long, I'm not gonna lie. Eh. Sports. Cause I, I... I remember now, um... I started playing that. I said that was nice. And went back to my Twitch Force 2. And I never picked it up again. <laughs> Dang. Sorry. Sorry, yep. right for it. I think that had a similar situation like the first Shantae game, where it came out, was it later in the Game Boy Color's life? So, oh, oh yeah. It's kind of rare. Kind of brushed over. Yeah, because when Shantae came out, the Game Boy Advance was already out. Oh, shit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wait, what? It's a Game Boy? Holy shit. It's an old ass game. I didn't think about that. Yeah. But, um,. To help promote, I get well. I guess to make the game more appealing to those moving on to the Game Boy Advance, there was a exclusive transformation you could get if you play the game on the Game Boy Advance. Ooh. Yeah, it was essentially a transformation that had all of the, your powers in one. Is that the case for the Virtual Console version? No, there's. There, I guess there's just no way to emulate the game being played on a Game Boy Advance, so oh. there's no way to get that transformation. Wait, what's the red light? Oh crap, we're on the last incident already. Okay, so for the last incident, the helmet will automatically switch in a, t a timely manner. Oh, uh, like the Mario Galaxy ones, right? Yeah, the three red lights are basically to signify, hey, things about to switch. So, adjust yourself now. Damn. Right. That keeps it interesting. Right. Yeah. Could you go like those enemies? If those blocks? 
Yep. Ooh. So you gotta keep on your toes. With an extremely generous part time, in my opinion, actually. Five whole minutes. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> it's interesting that this only popped up like now. There's no other yeah. level like this one up to this point. Yeah. Right. Well, that's the last level, so they had to do something. I guess. Um, interesting. Yeah. yeah. Kind of like Mighty Flip Chance. I didn't show off the final level with that, but with that level, it's basically a hodgepodge of everything, and there's a section where you automatically flip with no button input. Oh, oh. damn. No. <laughs> Damn, you really have to keep on your toes. Oh, most yep. definitely. What's the dog's name? Um, Twitchy. Oh, cute. <laughs> That's funny. Yes. Yeah, he is the checkpoint of the game. I feel like the way she says checkpoint is one of those like games that uh, those racing games. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. arcade game. But yeah, this would be the final level if they hadn't um, had that update. Which is part of the reason why I um, decided to end it here. That it just, I didn't want to show everything off. Yeah. No spoilers. Holy shit, look at this level. Don't you? Yeah, now here you cannot stand anywhere. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Dang. Nice. First in, only boss here. <gasps> what the? Well, that's just great. Yeah. <laughs> Are they like fused or what the? They're, they're trapped by it, so we gotta help them out. Oh, okay, I see. Gotcha. Wait, where did this thing even come from? What is the story with it? <laughs> um, remember that um, bottle of green ooze? That yeah. one of the sisters. Yeah, yeah, this is actually something that came from that. Oh, I kind of wish there was a way that they had it built up. You know, like, hey, there's monsters here. Uh, something's slowly happening to where they can't control it anymore. Yeah, well, it's actually implied that they um, let out more ooze than just that one cutscene because mm -hmm. at the beginning of this incident, there was this massive case that was broken and it had green ooze in it. Mm hmm. Yeah. That's it. You're dead. You're done. Yep, this is where the game would end. <laughs> well, the update. <laughs> just dancing, just dancing. Wait, where was that robot when we needed him? He could use those rockets. No, oh, he's yeah. he's just the end. That's oh, all. Great. Here go. I mean, back to jail for you. Just <laughs> <laughs> just save your life, but you're still going to jail. Yep. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Just saved your life for life. Yeah. Hi -oh. oh my god. <laughs> but yeah, definitely a very addicting game. Love the death. It was fun going back to play it again like five times. <laughs> yes. <laughs> this is interesting credits. <laughs> goes down. Mm. Yeah. Well actually it goes from both the bottom and top screen, but it would be kind of redundant to show both. So this might look pretty cool in 3D as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's like, eh, we don't really want to scroll up anymore. Yeah. <laughs> Pomegranate? Oh, is this button name is awesome. <laughs> this funky ass music though. Yep. <laughs> Soundtrack is available right now. Jake Hoffman! Just as we yeah. were saying, audio guy. Voice Sarah talent, Pop. Stephanie Gore. Checkpoint. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you, you can tell she had a blast with these lines. Oh, kid testers. <laughs> Wish I could be one of those. <laughs> yeah. So, John, have you actually beaten all the part times before, or no? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Why you saying it like that? <laughs> no. I. No. I, I just. <laughs> Beat the levels and that's it. I will probably be with you on that one. 
Well, in the 3DS version, you actually don't really get anything. In the Wii U version, I think you get an alternate skin for Patricia. Yeah. I think it, you get an alternate one for her, if you do that. I can't remember. You're welcome. <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh. Excuse me? Oh. That's right, reference. Huh? You remember how you beat the uh, Metroid and she takes off her armor if you beat the game uh, to fast enough time? Yep. Yeah. Damn. Well, we kind of knew this one. This was a woman. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I mean, a man, yeah, a man named Patricia. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the man named Patricia, that's GG. My name's Patricia. <laughs> oh my god. GG. Ford. GG. Very good game indeed. Oh, wee wee. <laughs> <laughs> wee wee. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, um, that opening cutscene, that's his own musical track on the soundtrack. Oh. Including all the sound effects. And my and Patricia yelling. Oh, that's part of the song. Huh. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I guess so. But yeah, that is it for my Switch Force. We pretty much showed the entire game. Whoops. But next week we're gonna look at Mighty Switch Force 2! Yes! My yet... Switch Force! 2? <laughs> <laughs> look, it's how she says it. It's fine. It is how she says it. But yep, thank you for watching, and we will see you then. Take care, y'all. Bye. In that screen, though. Bye. Bye. Do we yeah. stop the aud audacity now? I mean, we can if you want. Oh, okay. <laughs> Come here. Or you can keep this going for 10 hours? Uh, no. stop. Oh, well then.